I'm mainly teaching English, um, working with the older boys, helping them improve their proficiency in English, um, mainly just helping them to build their confidence because they do know quite a bit of English, but sometimes they're very shy to speak it. So we both formal lessons and also just informally, like how, how was school today? About two years ago, I was talking to someone I had just met and they were explaining how they were going on a mission trip. And they mentioned they were gonna stop at a layover in Guangzhou. It's like, oh, I, I actually lived in that city. And so that kind of led to me explaining all the different places I've lived throughout my life. So the next question they had for me was, well, would you like to settle down now? Or would you like to go back overseas at some point? And I said, actually, I would like to go back overseas. And I'd like to go to Cambodia. I would say that I feel like there's real value to what I'm doing. It's worthwhile because it's something that's going to have an impact on their future. The most challenging thing is definitely transportation. Um, tuk tuk drivers don't know where you want to go, or if you ride a bicycle, you have to watch out, you don't get hit by a bus. <laughs> it breaks my heart to see how low the self-confidence of the boys is. I get very frustrated when I start to see them give up. Um, they think things are too difficult, you know, it's, it's too difficult to learn English. Or I, I need to speak English perfectly before I will speak it. Going to the Cambodian church, it's reminded me that God doesn't only speak English. 